board. <laughs> and I walked in there and I went, oh wow. You came out and looked right at me and smiled. Aww. And I almost passed out. <laughs> it scared me to death. And I didn't have a clue what I was in. Over the year between the broken tailbones, the trip to the principal's office, the wreck trucks, <laughs> but you know what? Your mother and I are very proud to raise a son like you. I remember we were sitting at the market. You were texting on your phone. I was like, hey, who are you texting? He was like, nobody, I just, I met somebody. I was like, okay, do you like her? He legit looked me in the eye and said, I will marry this girl. Bailey is such a special friend. I mean, we all are so blessed to know Bailey, but like, she is a good one. <laughs> I mean, like, listener, in-depth conversations, just an incredible person. Although Bailey and I are so different, our friendship has always worked so effortlessly. And that's because Bailey is one of the very best friends I could ask for. Which is why it makes me so happy to see that Bailey has found that in Hunter. Someone who supports her, someone who loves her, and someone who encourages her. Bailey is one of those people that is just as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. I think I speak for everyone in this room when I say one of the most genuine kind of souls that you'll ever be. Bailey's always been more than a sister to me. She, uh, due to our situation, she's had to be more than that. She started talking about a guy named Hunter, and she talked about him every single day. <laughs> always. And she's like, you'll love this guy, you'll love him. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll be the judge of that one. Um, and sure enough, she tells me she's moving home. He drove 10 hours to Nashville to help remove all of her stuff and drove a U-Haul back. And I'm thinking, okay, this guy must be serious. Um, and when I met Hunter, he was a, uh, he was a great guy. Um, everything about him, we got along well. I saw the way they made each other happy. I liked him more and more every time. I texted Bailey and I was like, you know, how is Hunter? And she was like, Veronica, like, I really think he's the one. He's coming to Memphis next weekend. And um, I was like, oh, okay, that's great. And then the next thing we know, she's leaving Nashville. She's going to Dallas. She's leaving Dallas. She's going to Shreveport. But, uh, but seeing y'all together, I knew you were the one. Um, and I think all of it was worth it. And all the changes and all the moves and everything in between led us to this moment. So Bailey calls me one day. And I don't even know. My, my lease was coming up. And I guess I mentioned it to her. And she was like, hey, look, I know I'm in Nashville. And I, I've been here for a little while, but I want to get closer to home. I'm like, okay, yeah, well, do you want to come to Dallas? No reason, like, no reason. Just yeah, and I'm like, something's up, for sure. <laughs> so me and Bailey move in together in Dallas, and then Hunter shows up. <laughs> I remember me and him walked out in his garage that night, and I was like, dude, she's the one. He's like, I know, I told you, I couldn't wait for you to meet her. But then finding out that you lost your mom and I lost my mom, we've had a lot of conversations, and you're just an awesome person. I've had the blessing of knowing Bailey since middle school. I never knew when I asked for a piece of gum, Chip was there, <laughs> what kind of friendship it would have started. And I also have known Hunter since middle school through my cousin Derek. So it's crazy how both of these people have been in my life for such a long time and have never crossed paths until this past year. It goes to show you that God's timing truly is perfect. Hunter changed from the day that he met Bailey. I, I think he finally felt <clears throat> complete with himself. He felt comfortable with himself. He, he, he was never looking over his shoulder. It's, these two together, y'all are a pair. Y'all are made for each other. It was so cool to just know, like, oh my gosh, he's making an incredible decision with um, this one, and I cannot be happier. I've never seen Bailey the way that she is around you. She laughs hysterically. <laughs> she is so happy with you. She's a different person, honestly. You bring out the best in her. Their love is evident. The way they love each other is unapologetic, and it's something that I admire. And for someone who's known both of these people for a very long time, I have to say I've never seen either of them. Getting to watch you these last few months tackle every curveball COVID threw your way has been so amazing. The two of you never lost sight of what was truly important, which is your love for one another and your desire to marry each other, no matter what that looks like. And together, y'all have made each other where it is, and you'll continue to do so. So together, y'all will be fantastic. Please keep each other in your hearts, and I can't be more proud of Bailey. I'm excited for her. Um, 
I know your mama would be very happy for you. And you guys have a beautiful future together. I cannot wait to be a part of it. And you are the best thing that my son has ever brought it for me in my life. You and him are soulmates. There's no doubt about it. No doubt in my mind. So in half, Miss Mona, me, and the whole Palmer clan in here, I welcome you in this family. So pretty. I remember so vividly laying in bed and praying for my husband. I prayed so specifically for this dream man when in the back of my mind I thought there was no way on earth that this man ever existed. But God was listening to my every word and he gave me you. You check every box. You're everything I've ever dreamed of. It is still truly unfathomable to me that you choose me. You were everything precious in my life, and I wasn't truly alive until I met you. I can't wait to create this life with my very best friend. You truly are my whole heart, and I will love you until my last breath. Bailey, today I give you my life, and not just as your husband, but as your best friend, as your rock, as somebody you can lean on. I've never missed somebody from day to day. <laughs> Not a minute goes by that I don't miss you, that I don't long to be with you. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how everybody has told me how much of a better person I am because of you. <laughs> you, you are more than a better half. You know, you, you are me, you, you make me. I can't begin to explain the person you have formed me into. With you, I am who I am supposed to be. You are everything to me. Today, you, you literally glow as much as the day I met you. I, I, I can't begin to explain the ways you've changed my life and the ways you will continue to change my life. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I love you so much and I promise you that I will love you for the rest of our lives. This is not anything short term. This is, this is it. This is us. We're here forever together. And I literally cannot wait for the fun memories, the moments, the children, the things we'll have. You're everything to me. And I can't, I can't wait to marry Not often do two kind and caring souls find each other in our world today. So when they do, it's something truly special to celebrate. Now Hunter and Bailey ask you to, to take a minute and look around here. Take a moment to take it all in. I want you to remember all the faces that are here and know that we are gathered here to support you. I, Hunter, make to you Bailey. I, Bailey, make to you Hunter. The presence of God and these witnesses. My promise to save by yourself. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. The good times and the bad. I promise to love you unconditionally. Comfort you in times of distress. Laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be honest and faithful to you. Cherish you as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. These hands that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other for all eternity. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, both of joy and of sorrow. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years. These are the hands that will help hold your family together as you overcome adversity. And these are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. May these rings be from this day forward your most treasured adornment. And may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. As you wear these rings, may they be constant reminders of this holy promise you are making today. I give you this ring, the sign of my love and faithfulness. I give you this ring, the sign of my love and faithfulness. By the power vested in me, 
by getordained.com and the state of Louisiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Hunter, you may kiss me. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Hunter and Bailey Palmer.